those. Much bigger they're lowered today. They probably better off than we are. First on Fox, emotional words from the pastor of a family found shot to death inside a home in Lenore today. Investigators say they were killed, possibly before the home exploded. Right now, investigators are still searching for answers as to what led to that shooting. The call started as an explosion, but then investigators discovered gunshot wounds on all the victims. Fox 46's Will Lewis is live from the Lenore Police Department. And Will, many say the family living at that home kept to themselves. Yeah, that's right, Lindsay. One neighbor said that the only time she heard that family make any noise is when they were outside in their swimming pool. Now, police confirmed four people dead, and they say it was a father and his three children. A lot of people living on Laurel Place in Lenore have the same thought when seeing all the emergency service vehicles. That's just crazy, so unexpected. Kim Lackey lives right next door to the home in the 1200 block, and she says she knew something was wrong right away. I thought we heard gunshots, like three, pow, 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 and then pow, pow, pow again. It was, you know, it would have been a small gun. Emergency service crews first responded to the home because of a possible explosion. The fire department has stopped short of calling it an explosion, but says most of the damage was on the main floor with other damage in the attic and basement. The burn characteristics of the structure uh, where we feel the origin may have started, there's there's not a lot of damage, but we have damage in other floors. So it's, it's, a, it's a little different circumstance than you normally run into. Once the fire was out, investigators discovered the bodies. A 58-year-old man, two teen girls ages 15 and 18, and a 29-year-old man. Police say it was the father and his three children. They all had been shot to death. I'm confident about the family, you know, there's real ground in their faith and they love the Lord and I know that much about them. They was real good people, so I can say that with all honesty. That's what makes the whole scenario shocking. Lenore police say they don't believe this to be a random act and they are not looking for any suspects. Many wait for answers and pray for the surviving family member. This is the first part of it. When we get the answers, I guess we'll understand it. But I feel like this, so four souls, much bigger they're lowered today. They probably better off than we are. Yeah, a lot of sad people today. Now, investigators say they have wrapped up at the scene, and the woman who lived in the home is now staying with other family members. We're live in Lenore. Will Lewis, Fox 46.